hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x times square root of x is equal to 8 can we solve this problem for the values of x so here uh, we find all the solutions of this equation uh, and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side so in order to remove this square root sign we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you will take squaring it will be written as x times square root of x and its whole square is equals to 8 square and further in the next step uh, here we need to uh, use this uh, square identity on both of these terms and it will be written as x square multiplied by square root of x and its whole square is equals to this is 8 square and 8 square becomes 64 so further in the next step uh, you see here we need a little bit more simplification and it will becomes x square and we have this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x is equals to 64 and we know that x square times of x is equals to x cubed also we know about that 64 is equals to 4 cubed and now we move uh, 4 cubed to the left hand side and it will become x cubed minus 4 cubed and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now further we need to divide this equation into uh, and here we just use the nice cubic formula in order to solve this equation and you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to this formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here we need to just substitute the values of a and b into the below formula so after substituting these values here it will becomes this is a minus b the value of a is x minus the value of b is 4 into this is a square the value of a is x so it will becomes x square plus x times of 4 plus 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, x minus 4 times of x square plus this is uh, 4 times of x becomes 4x and plus this 4 square becomes 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 4x plus 16 is equals to 0 so we get there are two cases of this equation and now here from first case we easily get the value of x is equals to 4. So this is the first root of the given equation uh, and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve uh, this quadratic equation and you know about that there are three ways to solve the quadratic equation. First is factorization method, second one is completing square and third one is quadratic formula. So here we just use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 4 and c is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the, our quadratic formula and now we need to substitute the values of a b and c here so when we substitute the values of a b and c it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and in the next step we have this is minus 4 plus minus square root of 
this is 4 square becomes 16 minus 4 times of 16 is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. And further in the next step we have minus 4 plus minus this is square root of here we need to take common 16 from here and when we take common 16 we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 square root and it is divided by 2. And now here in the next step we have x is equals to minus 4 plus minus we know that square root of 16 becomes 4 times of square root of 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 becomes a square root of minus 3 divided by 2. And further in the next step we have this is minus 4 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3. We know that when negative sign appears inside the square root it will become iota. And now here we break uh, this fraction and we write 2 separately on both of these two values. So here we need a little bit simplifications. These are cancelled out by each other and we will get here x is equals to minus 2 plus minus. These are also cancelled out by each other and we get here 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And we have one real root that is x is equal to 4. So this is the one real root and two complex roots of the given equation. So this is the our final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.